Hello there, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. It's actually a really special edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. Um, I didn't think I'd ever be making this video, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, this is a this is about a pair of trainers, more than a pair of trainers, really, um, that I regret regrettably sold back in the summer of 2018. Um, I only purchased them about just over a year before that, uh, in 2017, for various reasons. Well, I was wanting other things. I was needing the money for other things, but I also got an offer I couldn't refuse for these trainers. So that is my defense. Um, but instantly, pretty instantly, um, I regretted selling these trainers. Um, and as time went on, you know, I obviously got into other things. I was selling my Adidas collection, um, but this this pair of trainers was always in my mind. Um, this is Amir, and it was one of those, well, I've had them, I own them. At least I was lucky enough to have them for so long. Somebody else is enjoying them. Uh, funny enough, the guy who bought them off me uh, lived in Edinburgh, but he was working out in Dubai Mark, I'm sure he won't mind me mentioning him. Um, but, so I never met Mark when I sold them because he was in Dubai and his friend came on his behalf. He met me and we exchanged trainers and money. And that was it. They were gone. Gone forever. Or so I thought. And the last sort of 18 months I've been buying Adidas again. I've been getting into obviously more Spezial. And as you can see, my collection has grown quite a lot in that time again. I've got a lot of, well, I've got some trainers back, which I sold, not the exact trainer, but that model, that type. Uh, there's still a few more that I'd like to get. But this one pair, um, one unique pair, um, I didn't ever think I'd see again, never mind own again, um, because they're so rare and they're so unique. So basically, I was on eBay scrolling away a few weeks ago, as I do, as we all do, um, when we're collecting Adidas and we go on Vinted and the, the Facebook pages. But I just thought, I wonder if I could find a pair of these trainers again, just to, to find um, they were limited, but I could maybe just get them. Um, one without a signature, because these are signed. Um, I'm gonna have to say what they are, because, uh, I'm going to have to show them soon anyway, because I'm dying to show them. I've had them now since last Friday. Anyway, I'm just going to finish my story first. And I went on eBay, and not only was the trainer there, um, there was it was the signed, one of the signed pairs of trainers. And not just that, it was the actual signed pair that I owned back in 2018. And it was, it was one of those moments where you just think, wow, this... This is meant to be, you know, this this is someone telling me you've got another chance. You've got a second chance of getting them back. Because as I say, I've regretted it since the day I sold them six years ago. So straight away, I saw the seller was from Edinburgh. So I'm thinking, this is the guy I sold them to six years ago. I messaged him straight away. He said, yep, yeah, this is me. I'm back from Dubai. I'm in Edinburgh. I said to him in well quite quickly can you take them off ebay can we talk about this uh we spoke on whatsapp i didn't want them i explained obviously if you sold them on ebay they'd take a massive cut uh they were obviously you had a, a, a you know quite a big price on there but i said straight away you'd lose so many hundred pound so we spoke on whatsapp for about three weeks we've thrown numbers around arrangements how we're going to pay it um I mean, the great thing about it is that he was in Edinburgh, so straight away I didn't have to worry about postage and the risk of sending them. Um, and, uh, well, yeah, just over a week ago, we agreed on a price and how I was going to pay him. So off I went across Edinburgh, uh, other side of Edinburgh for where I stay, and I met Mark, and there they were. There they were. The trainers were there, and not just the trainers, but the documentation and even the case which they were in when I got them. Um, these were won in a competition back in 2011. Um, for T, um, Yeah, so they won in a competition. 
the guy who won them in a competition sold them to someone, I bought them off that guy. So I became the third owner, and then Mark became the fourth. So they've had four owners, and it's come back now to me, owner number three, for the second time. So what are they? I'm sure a lot of people have maybe worked it out by looking at this. Um, Noel Gallagher there, quote, love is lending your favourite, your, your best trainers. Uh, they're about lending, selling, maybe. Um, but here we are. This this is them. This is the very limited NG72 training, um, which came out in 2011. I still can't believe I've got these, actually. Um, they were a reissue of the training 72. I think it came out in 64, 1964, the Youth Munich Olympics. Um, and there we are, the NG72, which was limited to 200 pairs when they came out in 2011 to coincide with Noel Gallagher's debut album, High Flying Birds. I think it was October 2011. The stockists were two shops, number six in London and number 74 in Berlin, I believe. Um, I think number six got 120 pairs. Um... So, there was 200. 20 pairs were signed by Noel Gallagher um, in 2013 at the Royal Albert Hall for Teenage Cancer Trust. And that is one of the signed pairs. Now, yes, there was 20 signed, but all the ones I've seen apart from two have um, just Noel Gallagher across, you'll find. Now, mine had God Bless, and I've seen one other pair with God Bless, but not as neat as that. Um, it's hard to describe, but I, I know these, and when I saw these on eBay, I knew instantly these were the ones that I owned. Uh, what are the chances? Um, very, very slim. Just to have got another pair of these in any size, unsigned, I would have been delighted. But to actually get a signed pair, and not just a signed pair, but the signed pair that I owned six years ago, and there they were on eBay. So that was an incredible feeling, seeing them, knowing that I had an opportunity to get them back, but there was still a lot, a lot of work to do, obviously. First of all, I asked Mark to take them off eBay, and that was a good feeling. And once we got in touch on WhatsApp, I thought there's got to be an outcome. There's, we've got to sort this out. He was a willing seller. I was a willing buyer. No one wanted them more than I did. Um, I'd been lucky enough to have them once. To get them a second time, I feel very, very lucky. And uh, I'm just delighted. So to get these back, I'll never own a more expensive pair of trainers. Um, I paid more than what I sold them for, but I sold them for more than what I paid originally. So that is just the way it goes. These things, these, it's not just a trainer, it's music memorabilia, it's Adidas memorabilia. They're only going to go up in value. I've got no intention of selling them at any point in the future. Um, I'm going to enjoy them uh, more than what I enjoyed last time. Um, these are going to be pride of place in my collection. Hanging on this, um, there was some wire inside, like fish wire. Um, and so they'll be hanging in there on the stand in my man den um it was never it was never going to be complete my man den in my own mind because i didn't have these um but now it is complete because no matter what i get now nothing will eclipse these because these for me are the grail these are the grail because they're signed by noel gallagher i'm i grew up in the i was in my 20s in the 90s i was a big oasis fan a big noel fan liam um obviously the Synonymous with Adidas, obviously Noel and Liam with a Spezial range, but these are the ones that came first. So I'll just tell you a bit about the trainer. Um, obviously, you know the stats, 20 signed, 200 released. When they came out, the shop, that's the word brought. But basically, they're, they're an all-white, full leather upper. Um, royal blue stripes, royal blue heel patch. The toe's actually enforced with an extra layer of leather. They're so soft. The quality is absolutely fantastic. It's like butter leather. It's it's absolutely stunning. Obviously, they're never going to be on foot. And I don't think many people have had these on foot 
for the full 200. Um, I'm sure if you did wear them, they would soften up even more, but they already are soft. Um, the eye stays um, and the, the heel strip at the back is a white off-white suede. Can you see there? So it's a little bit different, uh, colour white. And on the back of the strip, you've got Noel's initials there in gold, written in the back in gold. They've both got it there. Let's see. And finished off nicely with a thick brown gum sole. Um, on the outsole, the tongue has the gold endorsement. I'm going to put that one down because that's a signed one. It's make, signed one. It's making me nervous. That's the the gold endorsement there. Noel's face um, with his signature, and you can see there, very similar to the one on the side of the trainer. Funny that, isn't it? Uh, and you've got the Adidas Trefoil as well. Um, the Kim. I'm going to have to pick these up again because this one's got the it's got the blue laces, a spare pair. And these are actually, nine, it's irrelevant, but these are nine and a half. So they're actually not far off my size as well. I could probably get in these. Not that I ever will be, but there you go. Training 72 and it's a nine and a half. So it's even my size almost, which, you know, being a bit OCD and a bit anal that way, I do like to have my size if I can, even if it's a pair of trainers I'm not going to wear. So there we go, that, that's it. Um, as I say, it's a video I never thought I'd be doing. Um, I feel so lucky to have got these back. First of all, to have owned them in the first place, but to get a second chance, it was just destiny. And when I walked out of that house of Mark's last week, I just couldn't believe it. I just thought I've gone back um, and I will treasure them. Just an also authentication. There is no signing them, and that was at the Royal Albert Hall in 2013. The statement of authenticity, there we go. Proof, a third party witnessed it. Uh, the Teenage Cancer Trust uh, witnessed by a non-partisan third party at the Royal Albert Hall 2013, so that was 11 years ago now. And there we are. Um, and the funny thing is, they never left Edinburgh. You know, that, that was the thing. I mean, these could have gone anywhere in the world. And I, I really felt they would have gone to Dubai. I didn't know the full story behind the mark at the time. He was out there working, but he was coming back, obviously. And these never left. These stayed at his dad's, I think. Um, and they certainly aren't leaving Edinburgh now. So I've got them back. And as I say, I just feel so lucky to have got these. And as I say, I just think some things were meant to be. And there they are. So it's just one of those... Great stories, and I feel so privileged to to be, to be part of it. And uh, I've got to thank Mark as well. He was he was he was top throughout it all. He's a top guy. Um, he like he's a fan of Adidas as well, and he's got some a collection as well. But uh, things change in life. Um, we need sometimes funds for other things, and uh, I didn't ask why, but he was willing to sell them. And as I say, thankfully I got them first because they would have gone. They would have gone on eBay. Could have ended up anywhere, but they're staying in Edinburgh and they're back with me. So four owners. Um, I was the third owner and now I've got them back. So there we are. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to eclipse that this video, to be honest. I'm still pinching myself. I still don't believe I've got them back. It's like I'm going to wake up and somebody's going to take them off me. or I'm going to wake up and they're not there because I used to think about getting them back a lot. So I'll get them on display. Um... It'll just finish off my man cave. I'm getting some more shelving because I'm, my collection's growing. So, and I'll do a video of that later um, in the in the next few weeks. And uh, I'll be doing some more videos uh, of more Adidas goodness. And uh, as I say, the Grail piece is here. I love as well just the inside as well, the royal blue um, and white paint patterned insole. I love that as well. Very old school. Uh, anyway, I'll shut up now. So. Thanks for getting this far if you've already got this far. And uh, as I say, I'm sure you can you can see how happy I am. And uh, as I say, some things just meant to be. Um, so till next time, cheerio.